All right, so the twin is home. They're twinning now, y'all. Y'all see what I did. Paint the same color as this one now. Gold pinstripe to match that one too. Why not? Why not? Y'all let me know what y'all think about the giveaway, man. It will be coming up soon. I had a lot of people in my ear telling me, no, don't do it, don't do it. But hey, y'all see, y'all don't see no scratches no more, do y'all? That's fresh paint. That's fresh paint on there, man. So, uh, yeah. Fresh paint. So he ready to go now. Interior already looking good. It's ready to rock and roll now. Ain't got a scratch on it. Saying. Not a scratch. I gotta put the grill back on. He left some of the painters tape in the trunk. But hey, a quick paint job right quick, man. Did the trick. It ain't perfect, but it's much better. Super clean again. Cause all those scratches was just horrible. Nail scratch on there. Now I gotta put my emblems back on though. The two Caprice emblems back here. I'll pop those back on and we good. Then I got to pop my grill back on too. So that's another thing. I'm going to do that right now. I just had to go buy these expensive ass screws from the hardware store, which is right here. These screws, I paid 20 some dollars for this little bag of screws. Now that it's daylight, y'all can kind of see out here a little better. Y'all see that? So we woke up, had to go get Rosie. I've been working, y'all. I just ain't posted, but I've been working. Y'all need to get off my back a little bit. Everybody want me to finish the car, man. You done with it, you done? You should do this next, you should do that next. I know what I'm doing, man. I'm only one person. I only can work at a certain pace, you know what I'm saying? I only can work when I got time to work on this car. So I know y'all would like to see it done already, but shit, I want to see it done too, but I'm only one person. I, I don't have a, a team of people working on this car, so y'all gotta bear with me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all a little aggressive in the comments. Y'all like, man, when's it gonna be done? When you gonna do it? I'm only one person. I got a lot done so far. I'm only one person. Yeah, as y'all can see, man, I ended up painting my two-door the same color as the four-door. Just got it back today. I even added the pinstripe to it just to put the icing on the cake. You know what I mean? Like I said, this ain't no $10,000 paint job, but it's clean. You know, the car, if y'all know, this car was scratched up real bad. So I ended up um, just going and getting it repainted. I was going to paint it the same color, but... Since the blue that it already was was so close to this one, I just said the hell with it and painted another color. Really didn't need body work. It did, but it didn't, so I just repainted it. But um, I had a crack right here. I just had to get fixed up and that. Everything else was pretty much solid. So this is, like I said, this is my two-door. Y'all remember, y'all remember all them swirls. It's dirty, though, but y'all see it. Y'all definitely see it. So I got to do a little detailing on the inside. And uh, I got to rewrap my steering wheel. Look at that. Gotta rewrap the steering wheel. So other than that, um, they ready to rock and roll though, man. We damn near car show ready. This car I'm gonna do is just put the hood back on it and roll it as is. I ain't gonna drive it, I'm just gonna probably put it up on the trailer and just park it next to this one. Clean it up real good. This one I gotta clean up under here too. It's a bunch of dust under here. So uh, it's super dusty. So I'm gonna clean this one up under the hood too. You know how it go when you get your car back from the paint shop in there's dust everywhere, so that's that. And then on this one, y'all see what I did already. Finally got my radiator situated. Brand new radiator in there. This got 11 inch fans right there. And uh, really all I gotta do is just wire this one up and put my uh, gas tank up and then this one will be ready to start up. So I say by the top of next week, I have it ready to start up. I had so much to do that I haven't had a chance to do it yet, but uh, it's on my top of the priority list. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do. I, I started last night. What I did yesterday was I put the uh, new radiator in and then I also put the headers on, but I had to take one back off. See, I got this header on. I had the passenger side header on too, but I had to remove it because I got to put my sensor in before I put the header on. Otherwise the header gonna be blocking my way from uh, screwing the sensor in there. So I got to wait till my sensor come in for my uh, Dakota Digital. I got a Dakota digital sensor, which is right here. And it goes back here in the back, but I needed an adapter to it to make it fit to LS. Cause this just fits straight into my small block. You know what I mean? So I'm waiting on that sensor. What's up, son? And this was my exhaust off of the four door. 
see I got the flow master. These were the black flow masters. They was black, they look gray now. But those black flow masters, I had them just dumped in the middle. So I don't know if I'm gonna reuse those mufflers or if I'm gonna try something different. But I'm still in the process of figuring it out. But I got all this stuff out because I need to, um, and this is the box my radiator came in. This is the brand of the one I just bought. The one I just bought really wasn't no expensive radiator. I think I paid like 250 bucks for it with the fans and everything. So it's, it's a cheap radiator. Hopefully it do the trick. If it don't, we gonna switch over to the rally or something. But this is what I ended up with. This is the only one I could really find at the moment with a shroud to go to it to fit that. But um, like I said, I got everything else out ready to um, take to the shop to get wrapped. These are all interior pieces I need wrapped that I sell that wrapping myself and then y'all see I got this out because I'm about to start wiring everything up so which I pretty much know how to wire it already but I just use this just in case that's my just in case booklet that come with my wire harness and then you see all this stuff it's just like my Durali, uh transmission cooler fan and a few other little small things but as the car come together y'all start seeing a lot of this stuff disappear forgot about the giveaway I still got y'all so and I'm talking about the giveaway on the channel for the 12k so I ain't forgot about y'all. I got y'all. Just bear with me. Um, like I said, I got a lot of stuff to do, but I also got a lot of stuff that I might give away. Like yeah, I got a lot of like car audio and stuff. I don't know. If I don't use it, I'm going to give it away. Got a Kenwood flip-out touchscreen. That came in a four-door when I first bought it. And then um, this is my front bumper guard. Third brake light I got up there. Then my old seat belts. And for everybody that kept asking me, was I going to put the belt line trim on the four-door? I got it brand new. I just ain't sure if I'm gonna do it. But that's all, and I got a bunch of little LS stuff. This is just a bunch of miscellaneous LS stuff that I bought new, new spark plug wires. These are spark plugs off the two door from when, uh, before I changed them out to the new setup. So I got a bunch of little miscellaneous stuff. If you see something that you might need that I might be willing to part ways with, you just let me know and I might, I'll let you know if I'm selling it or not. But for now, the only thing up for sale is this right here, radiator right 350. If anybody want, like I said, it's brand new. If you're local, come bring me 300 bucks, you can take it. Then I got dash speakers for the Chevy too. Right there, those are just some little speakers if anybody want them. Other than that, this is the only music going in the Chevy these. And then I got some two uh, four, four mids on the way. And then, I mean, four highs. And then my two mids right there. Those brand new too, I just took them on my kick. So everything should fall in place. Y'all bear with your boy. Everybody is tuned in. To this bill and i appreciate everybody who's been rocking with your boy so if you watching this video right now man pat yourself on the back i appreciate you and matter of fact hit the thumbs up button for me hit that like button and subscribe if you ain't subscribed to the channel if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button but anyway uh the car will be done when it's done next month we got black sunday that's a big car show in the midwest uh in the summer too so well, you know the other car show is coming up sunday oh and by the way the car show sunday have been changed it's changed locations to uh, 74th and Mill Road, uh, Go. So I put the flyer up now because they changed location. My boy who threw on the show just hit me this morning and gave me the heads up that he had to change locations at the last minute. So he got a bigger spot to hold more people. So that flyer will either be up on the screen now or I'm gonna put it at the beginning of the video. But y'all uh, y'all just, like I say, stay, stay in tune with me. Be patient, man, and uh, it's coming. Like I said, I'm only one person. I'm finna get much as I can done. Just bear with me. I see the new color in there now. The sun come out, y'all see it. Looking like the photo. Looking like the photo. Uh -huh. it finally came in after three weeks or two weeks. That looks so much better, don't it, y'all? Got the yellow, got the yellow up in there. That's that Chevrolet yellow. It finally came, man. Where my other one at? Show y'all the difference. Give me the small details, man. These things cost too, but I'm gonna put y'all up on some game, man. These right here, see this is the other one. It just got, this probably was yellow in 86. This is the original one. So this probably was yellow too. At some point it just faded, you know what I mean? But the chrome is decent on it still, but ain't nothing like that fresh. Just look how fresh that look, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a new one, I just ordered a new one. So I'm gonna put this one on. The new one, see this is different, right? See the new one came with just these little washers here. There's a little flat washers. See, the other one, the one that was originally on there came with like some screw on joints. So these right here, you just gotta press them on. So let's see if we can get them. Okay, there, he's there. That's clean. That up. Let's see if we can press them on. Let's try to get back here. Oh, 
y'all. Just the new one. Them details is man. It's out with the old and with the new. It's those details, man, that make a bill, right? Small details. And that's way crispier. All right, y'all, it's nighttime now. So I guess I can show all the new subscribers what we looking like. Tank, chill, 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 Bill. Y'all can see that color coming to life, too. Come on. It's for all the newbies. Shake engine light came on today, too, for some strange reason. But y'all see the name etched all through here, so I don't know how that will work. You know, this can be replaced. You know what I mean? But my name all through there, man. So somebody might want to get their own console if they end up getting this car in a giveaway or winning it in a giveaway. You know. Y'all see all the goodies out here. See all the goodies, man. We'll be at the car show Sunday, though, for sure. We're going to clean it all the way up. And we're gonna put the hood on Rosie, clean her up too. I'm, I'm coming outside tomorrow. I'm getting after. I mean, I'm Erlene. I'm coming to get active on Erlene tomorrow. She gonna be wired all the way up. I know I said that yesterday, but then I got the other car back and got the fooling around with that one. So, <laughs> excuse me, but uh, I'm definitely getting all the way active with uh, with Rosie, oh, man. It's late. We're talking about 12 o'clock. Got to get up early, got things to do tomorrow, but I'm out here trying to do some last minute stuff. Trying to mold this carpet best I can. Like all this stuff, like up in there, that ain't gonna lay down. Or all the way up in the front ain't gonna lay down until I get the wires one in here. But it's also going, I might also have to wait to put all my trim in, because I know the trim cover this stuff up. So when I lay all this down flat, the trim, are, the trim gonna cover it up. So that's why I'm putting my door seals in just to hold the carpet in place right now. So y'all can see right here, I got the door trim in there just to hold it, hold it in place. And then like the edges where you see right here, I'm gonna have a plastic piece coming out. The interior trim gonna cover that up and it's gonna cover this whole piece up there. So it's gonna look better once I get my kick panels and my uh, stuff wrapped or whatever. And I'm gonna go and get both of these seats mounted in and then put the back seat in. And then of the course they are gonna have to come back out eventually, especially when I put my car uh, sole back in and, some of my, my uh, trim pieces gonna have to go back in, so they're gonna have to come back out eventually. But I'm just putting them in now. Just getting much done as I can for the car, so just so it can look, just so it can look decent. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna be finished. So y'all see that the show is not gonna be finished, but you know, y'all y'all get the picture. So yeah, I'm gonna finish getting this, cutting this carpet, trimming it in the back, and then I'm gonna throw the passenger front seat in, and then I'm gonna throw the back seat in, and I'm going to bed. And I'm tired. I've been at this shit all day. Uh, man. Like I said, these cars ain't no joke. Then I gotta still wrap the steering wheel in um, Rosie. I gotta wrap the steering wheel in Rosie, and then I got to, uh, what else I gotta do to Rosie? I gotta wrap the steering wheel in there, and I gotta remount the seat, because one of the seat brackets came loose, so I gotta remount that seat to the floor. So I'm gonna put some new holes on there, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So I just got this out the way. That way I ain't got to mess with both of these cars tomorrow. Tomorrow, I don't even think I mess with the four-door at all. So, so I put the seats in. Of course, y'all know, like I said earlier, they got to come back out. But uh, I just did a little test fit. Carpet decent. It's going to lay down more once I get in there and stump on that little thing. But I just want to show y'all something like little spots like this will be covered up. This will be covered up because y'all know it's a it's a pillar that goes here and it covers that up. So I'm gonna lay, all that's going to lay flat. Once I put all my plastic pieces in, I can lay it flat. But another obvious thing that y'all can see, you see how rusty the feet of these seats are they actually got little black covers i don't know if you can see them look see the little four black covers right there Remember the four black covers right there those go in the front part of the seat i thought i could find the back ones before when i mounted them in but i couldn't so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and um uh, Now you gotta go. Sorry. Oh, just killed him. Oh, 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 got him. But anyway, like a little space like that. It's a plastic piece that goes. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. So I'm tired. It's late. My fault. But it's a plastic piece that goes here. Stuff you see hanging up here, that's plastic. It's a, it's a piece that goes here to keep all of this in, too. So once I put all the trim in, y'all, the carpet will start looking like it's in better. 
and it's laying down better. But I'm gonna pull these seats back out tomorrow. They put some screws in them just to hold them. I'm gonna pull them back out tomorrow and then I'm gonna um, spray those. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sand them and I'm gonna spray them feet black just so they can look better. But other than that, like I said, they sitting in there for now. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do what I need to do to the two door as far as wrapping the steering wheel and stuff and then uh, just detailing. I'm gonna clean it out, clean the carpet uh, with the floor mats and stuff up in there, shine it up and that's gonna be cool. And then I'm gonna do this same thing tomorrow too. I'm gonna do this car. I'm gonna, um, clean it up real good tomorrow evening or something and I'm gonna pull it back in the garage and I'm also putting the hood on tomorrow so I'm gonna do that and then I called my boy he said if he not in the car show because he planned on bringing his motorcycle he said if he didn't bring his motorcycle he can come tow me up to the show, uh, car show and tow it back that way I won't have to put it on a trailer but if not um, I'm gonna have to figure out something else because I know y'all want to see this car there and I don't want to let y'all down you know what I'm saying so we gonna figure out something, man. I'm under a lot of pressure, but we gonna get it done. Like I said, I've been out here. This shit ain't no joke. If you know these cars, you know this shit ain't no joke. Uh, but I'm working, man. I'm working. I'm trying to bring y'all this good content. Y'all better appreciate it. And I'm gonna show y'all a little sneak peek of my console for this car. And my new rear deck is coming. And like I also told y'all, I got some little pods right here with some mesh in them that's gonna go and cover these up. Gonna look real slick though. So I'm gonna show you all that. Console, rear deck. Oh, and I, I forgot y'all got some custom kicks that's going in this corner right here, or each corner too. So that's gonna cover all of this stuff up. You'll see, once I get all my interior pieces in, y'all see how it look when it's done, man. Y'all just stay tuned. Pretty much it for me. Y'all see I didn't came out my shirt. I'm hot as hell, got my fan blowing. I'm finna go in this house and get under this central air and call it a night. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Um, probably, I might not be seeing y'all to the car show, but this video will be posted Saturday morning. So y'all will get this video and I probably won't see y'all again until Sunday or Monday or till the car show. But until then, I'll catch y'all in a minute. I'm out, man. Peace.